Welcome in Paris at June again. I'm very happy you come here. It's a blessing. Happy to be here. Yeah. Always. And I know it's your birthday uh, tomorrow at 718. So it's a real honor for you. Uh, and, and I'm very happy. It was a, a blast last time. And I wanted to talk to you about the editing process because uh, you've been one of the first to do edit and to popular, popularize this. And I would like to know, uh, Or did you come up with the idea of editing at first? Uh, and uh, what were the techniques you, you, you had before the computers? Um, well, the way it came about as far as where I began editing, um, at the time, like uh, you know, the end of the 70s, um, everybody I knew, we, we all had reel-to-reels. We use them all the time. So even if I wasn't making edits, I knew how to edit, uh, splice a leader tape onto the tape. Uh, so I was familiar with it before I started. But um, I noticed a lot of DJs, friends of mine, were doing edits, and uh, nobody was really sharing very much. Uh, so I, I remember if I, if I wanted something, I knew I would have to make my own. And I hadn't yet, but I did a remix that uh, first remix of Sleeping Bag, and I, I wasn't that happy with it. And the, the engineer kept saying, don't worry, we'll fix that in editing later. And when editing uh, came later, I realized, I don't know how to edit, but I know what a bad edit is, and this guy couldn't edit. And I walked out of there thinking, what happened here? I, you know, I got to do something about this. time I was playing at Roxy and um, DST was cutting up a funky drummer like like a machine he was mm -hmm. I could never do that and uh, I thought well let me try and edit with that I can't do any worse than this guy in the studio and that was my first edit uh, which I made a medley called feeling James and right the same time I made rock the house and that that was kind of how it started and I, I really just started giving them out to a few friends in the clubs on a real, um, I didn't think about them coming out. And how do you pick up the tracks you want to edit? It's like you want to play the track but it doesn't really fit the dance floor or how do you come up with I'm gonna edit this record. I think um, most of the time it's, um, as a DJ, I'm just uh, getting a record that I really like and thinking, there's this little part I want more of or I don't want it to do this or I'm rearranging it a little bit for the dance floor uh, in ways that are really I don't even know how possible they would be to do live, but I know editing is the only way I would be able to do that. Uh, so that's how that really came about. Like it's a new thing, it's, it comes with um, uh, new disco uh, DJs and stuff. Uh, do you think it's the future of disco or do you think it's just something happening right now? Uh, I think right now it's, um, 
like a big push right now. I don't know how long that will stay. I think like a lot of things, even when it goes away, a piece of it will stay. Uh, right now, I think it's taking the place of a lot of originality because um, people are sampling pieces of music that uh, have real musicians in them and real writing and arrangement in them. Uh, that's a shortcut to what they probably can't make or can't afford to make because those were productions today that would cost a lot to make. Uh, so I think it's kind of the simple route. So something will kind of, you know, uh, transform with that as a base maybe. But uh, right now it's like heavy. Everyone jumping on it. At your party, uh, 718 Station is a 10, 10 years long lasting party, so it's like really something good. You, you mixed uh, disco funk and a lot of house music, mm -hmm. and that's, that's what you do. Um, in terms of uh, how the night goes, what do you do? Do you play like disco in the beginning or do you mix it in the middle? How do you um, feel with the energy? I try to play off of the moment. So I'm not really um, thinking that there's a, a, a real format to it, but I tend to play disco in the beginning because as people are coming in, um, I rather they're not standing there listening to something they don't know and have a reaction of like mediocre reaction. I like the way uh, familiar music that So, something I love, that the people that are coming in the beginning love, that um, it's already bringing the energy up very quickly. And um, it sets the stage for the rest of the night. Um, but from there on, I mean, it just kind of goes with the moment and the crowd. Um, I could play a lot of one thing together or back and forth or really go make a left turn. It's uh, I like that freedom. Yeah, I know. And uh, <laughs> what, I, I, is that something I, we can't offer? Because tonight, you know, it's a modern party and we play like mostly original stuff. But uh, is that something uh, perhaps uh, the crowd of the party is not into house music, so that's something we won't do tonight. But, yeah. Danny, uh, I don't want to take too much time and too much energy. Thank you so much for answering the questions. I'm sure we're going to have a good time. We talk of to each course. other at the end of the party and see what happens. We're going to have a great time. <laughs>